YouTube. Man, it is Friday. I don't know. I don't know what date it is. But, um, my GoPro, my new GoPro is supposed to be here today. And, uh, man, the last couple of weeks that I haven't been able to upload, a lot has went down. And now, I got to update you guys on what's been going on. Uh, man, so a lot of things done changed. As you guys probably know with me, man, it's a lot of stuff that changes with me. Um, we still doing a dunk project. Don't y'all think that I'm giving that's not going nowhere. We definitely going to do that. You know how long I've been trying to find a, well, not a dunk. Let me rephrase that. A vert. Because, you know, you got some people going to say, man, it's not a dunk, man. So my vert project. <laughs> that's not going anywhere. But um, I have made steps towards the four door if you guys um if you guys um it's basically evolved um of what's going on and what's all coming up since i haven't been able to uh upload in the last two weeks at some point today my gopro get here we're gonna switch over to the gopro uh since it grew legs but anyway um we didn't made steps further towards my four-door bag truck. I bought another truck from the auction. Uh, it's got a good cab on it and make we can possibly use the transmission because I do have another 5.3 sitting on the ground and I just don't have a transmission. So hopefully uh, we can use the transmission out of this truck and we can start jumping to the bag truck once I get through with the Kapala. Yeah, it's not an Impala. It's not a Capri. So we're going to call it a Capala. C-A-P-A-L-A. -A -A. So anyway, um, I'm going to start back recording for that this weekend. Um, my headliner fabric should be here today. So we can start putting the interior back in and paint the door jams. So um, also, the gray truck that I was using as my daily um, has been sold. Yep. So I bought a new daily and it just came in yesterday and that's what I'm gonna show you guys. And it came all the way from North Carolina. I bought it at the auction. Um, I've, been want, I've been wanting one of these trucks for a while. And um, I thought it'd be cool to buy this truck and buy me a two car hauler and you know, put my bag truck and put my Impala, my Kapala or any other car that I decide to take to the car show, um, I really want to start advertising my work and taking my work on the road, like going to Texas and Georgia and Alabama. And I got some custom tents being made, custom uh, table covers, and I wanted to buy this truck, lure it, slam it, in the future bag it. So... I can give me a two car hauler and, and you know, kind of take my, my work on the road and advertise my work on the road. Um, so let me get through doing all this talking, man. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. I bought a 97 3500 Dually diesel and uh, just came in today. So let's flip the camera around and I'll show you guys. I've been talking for four minutes. Here she is, guys. She is a little rough, man. I ain't gonna lie. I bought this truck without even seeing nothing but pictures uh, the good thing is it's already got the gooseneck man i love that i love that it's got the gooseneck because like i said the plan was to do a 5.7 drop on 22s or 24s semi wheels i might do 24s and completely go through this whole entire truck it's got low miles it's only got but 123 and it's a 6.5 diesel. So, um, I bought it in North Carolina. A buddy of mine down here went up there and got it and brought it to me yesterday. She needs some work, man. It's actually, I honestly, looking at the pictures, thought that it was just this. But um, it's not. As you guys can see, the wheel is pushed back. So, the frame is supposed to go like this. 
the frame goes like uh, it pushes over um, my frame machine isn't strong enough to pull it because we're only using one tower my second tower is down and i honestly haven't had the time to research and find a pump for it to get it back up and working so in order to pull this frame it's gonna need two towers you're gonna have to put two towers on this side and double pull it and i don't have that so i got a buddy of mine who does and we're going to tow it to him and see if he can fix it for us we're gonna get that done today but first, I haven't heard it run. They got a key, and I guess they was using this truck as a work truck because this guy, man. But y'all know me. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. Man, we're gonna shave all this shit. This bitch is getting low to the ground and it's getting shaved with door poppers. We finna, we finna bring the red Diablo back in photo form. That's if. She runs great. I haven't heard it run. I gambled with this truck and um, saw it online, fell in love with it, and bought it and had it uh, sent from North Carolina to here. So what I did was the people at the auction didn't know if it runs and drive, but what I noticed in the pictures were the truck didn't have batteries. So I was like, damn, maybe the previous owner had brand new batteries and took the batteries out before the auction or the insurance company told it to the auction. So I mean, think about it. I look at it as it had to have been running and driving before for it to have a wreck and be hit this hard. It didn't get hit this hard sitting still. So that's what we're gonna do now, Facebook. Damn, I said Facebook. Man, I so totally disrespected y'all. So this is what we're going to do now, you two. Um, we're gonna go get two brand new batteries. And look like we're gonna get some brand new terminals too, because I don't like the way these right here work. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna do that last, man. Well, yeah, we're gonna get the batteries first. You gonna see ain't no point of me dumping a whole lot of money into this thing and it's and it's knocking or it don't even run so that's what we're going to do once i hear this thing fire up and run and crank oh man it's over with it is over with i already got the five seven drop sitting in the um waiting to be ordered man i already got the wheels that i didn't see waiting just haven't decided on 22s or 24s yet. Man, I already got the door popper kit, the shave kit. I got a whole nother trunk in the back. I mean, the tailgate in the back. Man, I got new carpet. Because I'm thinking about keeping this peanut butter, just freshening it up and painting this truck candy brandy wine. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Doing peanut butter and candy brandy wine. So. All right, YouTube, let me get over here to the parts store and get some batteries, man, and uh, see if my dreams are going to be shattered or we're going to make them reality. Because if it's knocking and it don't work, then we're going to snatch this out and we're going to 6-0 swap it. We're going to put a 6-0 in it. But I really, really want this diesel. I really want this diesel. So... All right, YouTube, let me get over here to the parts store, get, a, get some batteries, and uh, we're going to try to get it running. I know I can't turn it with the, with the tire being against the body like that on the other side, but at least I can pull it straight to my shop and kind of clean this thing up, pressure wash and clean it up because I'm not going to tow it to his shop with it looking this nasty. For some reason, man, I always get the nasty trucks. But this one I understand. I can you can tell they was using this for like construction. The gooseneck, fence piping, man, gravel, got the white gravel, whatever you want to call that type of gravel. Concrete. They was using this for construction. So yeah. 
I understand this. But that Escalade, I didn't understand that. Well, all right, YouTube, let's go grab these batteries and see what this thing do. See y'all in the next clip. Here it is, YouTube. And it finally came in, man. Now I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on this one, man. Keep this one close to me, because I see I got people stealing GoPros around me. So I won't let this one out my sight no more. So, all right, YouTube, we go ahead and put this together. And um, we got the diesel running. I put the two batteries in it. It's actually been running for the past 20 minutes. So let me go ahead and set everything up with this and uh, go ahead and show you guys the diesel since we got it running. All right, YouTube, we back on the GoPro. We back at it. As y'all can see, man, the diesel is running. Let me turn this music down so I won't get no copyright. Hang on one second. Yeah, she uh, she runs hella good, man. She actually been running for about an hour now. So once them cars clear out over there, I'm gonna pull it over there and pressure wash it and clean it up. So now that my mind is at ease that it runs, now we just got one more hurdle to cross and let's get that frame pulled right there. Uh, we finna go holler at a guy that I know. Well, my partner know, not that I know. And uh, we are gonna see what, see what he's talking about. And if he want it today, tomorrow or Monday, we finna go on and drop it off. I'm finna try to expedite this. I'm finna see how much he gonna charge me to move. If he got somebody on the frame machine, how much he gonna charge me to kick they ass off the frame machine and put me up on there. I'm trying to get this thing back ASAP, so. All right, you two. Uh, next clip, we'll see how the frame machine go up. Next clip. I show you guys what it looked like after we uh, clean it up, and then the next clip after that, we'll see how it goes at the frame machine shop, and uh, go from there. So, all right, see y'all in the next clip. There she is, all washed up. Man, she look a whole lot better. Still got to vacuum out the bed and clean out the interior. But, uh, man. Look good. And that's without soap and water. What? She runs, though, man. is what I do tomorrow YouTube is get up here and vacuum and clean out the interior as much as I can I think I'm gonna do peanut butter interior with uh, burgundy suede you no know, do the burgundy suede around there put the burgundy suede in the inserts of the seats and uh, put the burgundy suede in the hell on them and paint this thing candy brandy wine, man. So, a lot of my partners is telling me not to lower it. Telling me not to lower it and just leave it up and put 24s on it. So what y'all think? Should we slam it on 24s or 22s? Or lift the front 
and go 24th. What's going on YouTube? Give you guys a update on the framework of the dually. Uh, we went by his shop Friday and he wasn't there. He was actually at the junkyard um, getting parts. So we called him on the phone and he was like uh, he needed to see the vehicle, which I already knew that. I knew you can't give me a price. We tried to take him some pictures, um, but he also said that he couldn't do it over pictures, which I understand that also because I'm a body shop and it's a lot of times to where I can't give a price over pictures. What I usually do is give a ballpark to kind of give them a, a range of what they'll be paying. And once I see it in person, we'll do a price in stone, but he couldn't do that. And... He told me I had to pay him to come out to check it out. He's an older guy, a uh, real older guy. So you know how our older generation is when they get stuck in their ways, they got to go a certain way, which is cool, which is fine. Um, he said he didn't have the new phone. He had the old flip phone and for me to email him my information. And when I emailed him, um, I offered to double what he was charging me to come out and look at it if he can come out here before monday and um he hasn't showed up he hasn't run, responded or reached out to me so which is fine which is cool you know most people probably don't work on weekends so what i'm gonna do is call him monday morning tomorrow morning and see if it's okay for me to tow it to him and he can give me a price now i know i'm probably gonna spend more money because there's a good chance that i have to tow it three times when i could you know wait till he come out here and possibly only tow it once but you know uh it is what it is so the only reason why i say three times because if i tow it to him monday and he looks at it and he can't get to it so i have to tow it to him to look at it and if he's not ready for me to drop it off then i got to tow it back to the shop and then i have to tow it the third time when he's ready for it but if he says that tomorrow i can drop it off then it'll only be one tow because after he fix it i can just drive it back from the shop so uh, i'm gonna call him tomorrow morning see what he says and uh probably get this thing towed over there to him and see see what he says after that so that'll be the next clip youtube and i'm pretty sure you guys are probably wondering when i said um I sold my gray truck, which was my daily. So yes, I did sell it. Yes, I do have a new daily. And here it is. So 2009 Smart 4.2. Man, I love this car, man. I've been driving it for the two days and I love this car. Um, It's not really going to be my daily, but it's my daily right now. Um, I got a few other cars that um I can drive, but um i'm i'm enjoying this one right now so the whole point of me buying this car is for advertisement piece and i've been driving it for the last two days and i can honestly tell you this car is doing exactly what i thought it would do now the past two days <clears throat> I didn't had so many people stop me, ask me, can they take a picture? Can they get a video? If they see me driving it, they take a video of me driving it. I mean, they love this car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap all my shop services, my shop logo, my phone number, email, YouTube, Instagram. I'm gonna put all my information all over this thing and use it as an advertisement piece. I mean, think about it. If that many people it's taking picture and video of it and they probably showing their friends or showing their cousins who's to say they might show a cousin who needs some auto body and paint or wheels and tires or one of the services that we offer and they show them the picture like look cuz look what i saw the other day oh dang he do this i need to holler at him you see what i'm saying because this little car takes a lot it, it grabs a lot of attention a lot of attention and just driving it the little last two days man so it's gonna be perfect for what i needed to do and i told you guys in a previous clip that i'm using the dually i'm buying a two-car hauler maybe a three-car hauler and i'm gonna start taking my services my 
my product over the over the road to different car shows so i can advertise my work um so i think this would be another neat thing to have at the car show when i got my my tent my tables selling my merchandise and i have this little car sitting at the booth um with it wrapped with my logo and people can take pictures of it and have basically a rolling driving billboard in their phone so yeah i'm pretty when it comes to my business or comes to marketing or promoting i'm like next level with it man i'm always good i always been good at marketing or promoting something so but yeah that's the plan for that and I, I will if you guys would like to see the transformation of that i will make a video of that just let me know in the comments comment if y'all want to see the smart car go from plain jane to custom i was thinking about putting an air ride on it but i think it'll be a waste of money i mean the thing is already only two inches from the ground so what was the point of putting air ride on it so um even though i haven't been able to find one um i felt like it'll probably be a waste of money i was gonna bag it and i feel like it'll be pretty cool if i pull up and hit the air psh, it'll draw more just something to draw more attention but i still might do it but i still think it might be a waste of money since there's not too much travel from the body to the tire or to the ground so but then i don't know time will tell we'll see what y'all think should we bag this thing or just leave it like that so all right youtube that's it for my new daily and the new dooley uh tomorrow we'll see what the old guys say and uh we'll go from there see y'all in the next clip what's going on youtube it's monday afternoon um i done went by two shops I went by the old guy that I was telling you guys about in a previous clip. And he's about a month behind. Um, basically, what he told me was he had a brother-in-law that had a shop. And he decided to close his shop down. And they decided to merge together. And he was saying that his brother-in-law had six cars that need to be on the frame machine repaired. And he had six cars that need to be on the frame machine repaired. So it's about 12 cars in front of me well uh i can't wait a month and a half so i ended up going to another buddy of mine who has done some repair work for me before um he's a hispanic or mexican guy uh and he's supposed to come by today to take a look at it and see if he can fix it if not um i got an appointment set up with a frame shop that's downtown Memphis. That's all they do. That's what they specialize in. I know for a fact 120% that they can fix it. It's just going to be pricey. So I got an appointment set up for them Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning. And if my guy uh, Mundo can't fix it, and then we're just going to tow it downtown and uh, get them to fix it. So that's the plan. What I'm going to do is YouTube. We're going to turn the camera around and show you guys the bin and the den and what we got to fix. And uh, we're going to end this part one. And we'll pick up part two after we get the truck fixed. Um, I done ordered a lot of parts for it. Tow mirrors, cow hood, new fender, paintable front grill, paintable bumper. So we just got to get it back from the frame shop so we can uh, start customizing it. So all right youtube show you guys the bent frame and then uh we'll end this part of one and uh get it uploaded so all right so y'all can see the tire done fell off which is right there moving it around the parking lot so now i can actually show you guys the damage man if i would have known that it was hit that hard i would have never bought this truck but the way it looked in the picture it looked like it just had just this little damage and it just was on a flat so like i said i bought this truck in north carolina and i had it shipped here so there's no way i can actually look at it but uh we're gonna get it fixed one way or another if we gotta cut that frame off and replace it with a whole nother frame right there uh because the people that's downtown they have fixed the car for me like that before that was like this they cut the frame off right there and just re-welded another one and put all the new 
suspension back on so like i said it's just gonna be pricey if it goes to them if it can't if this frame can't be repaired so uh my frame machine isn't strong enough i'm not even gonna try and break my frame machine when i know for a fact it's not strong enough so all right youtube that's it for the dually uh we need a name for this build and uh go ahead and comment what y'all think the name should be what we're gonna name this thing and uh we're gonna go from there so also comment below what y'all think we should run with this thing man 22s or 24s should we lift the front up and make it level with 24s or should we do a four six five seven drop on 22s man and give me some paint on give me some ideas on the paint i leave i really want to leave a peanut butter interior yeah it's on the counter i really want to leave the peanut butter interior so uh think what y'all think candy brandy wine candy cobalt blue with the blue suede inserts or the uh burgundy inserts or leave it white or paint it black man give me y'all ideas man tell me what y'all think below how y'all would do this truck um uh, yeah so all right see y'all in the next video man subscribe and see what i do next